Howdy folks and welcome to the Main Man channel. As you can see, we've got some cleaning supplies out here today and uh, we've got actually a Glock Gen 5 cleaning mat. It's Glock 17 Gen 5 cleaning mat. Uh, I bought it from Amazon for about 15 bucks. It is a Saris gear brand and uh, it's pretty neat. It's the first time I've actually got to use it. Uh, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be cleaning my carry gun, my weekend carry gun, and uh, my just everyday plinking stuff pistol, my Glock 43X, my Glock 43X, okay. Also, I'm doing a little bit in different format to the videos. I'm trying to make them flow better and keep y'all's interest a little bit better and uh trying to make them as short as possible so we're gonna run through this i'm gonna attack it like i'm attacking something at work so i hope y'all enjoy it let's show you what we got here we've got basically they come out of this tube it is one of those cleaning kits pistol cleaning kits off wish and they sell several, uh, similar to these at walmart as well and it's just the basic pistol cleaning kit it comes with uh, a brass brush a couple of attachments uh, attachment where you can make a pretty good long rod. It's got one of these brushes, you know, soft brushes, and uh, it's got one of these brushes similar to your Glock brushes. It is a uh, plastic brush. I'll probably use that more than anything. And that's probably going to be the main thing we use as far as anything come out of this kit. I've also got some basic Q-tips over here. A lot of people frown on these, but they help me get the job done. Also, we have some hops number nine bore cleaner and that's just basically what it is that's good stuff good bore cleaner cuts that lead cuts the dirt and uh cuts the leftover gunpowder and all that good stuff all right also i like this oil right here pretty good too it is hops number nine lubricating oil with weather guard well the main man needs weather guard because the main man had this gun on me when it was raining the other day shooting a bunch of the uh journal book penetration videos and i got a couple of them wet you know so this helps with moisture and help protect your gun against moisture that's why i like it also i have brought some basic natural cleaning gloves that i got at harbor freight if you wear these gloves it helps out a little bit you are dealing with some stout chemicals so give me just a minute here folks and we'll put these gloves on and we'll get started Okay, got my gloves on so we can get started. The bore cleaner and the uh, oil with the weather guard are a couple of pretty stout chemicals. Also, the uh, lead that's in, that you're gonna deal with with firearms is harmful to you. This just helps you keep your hands a little bit cleaner so you can get the job done just a little bit easier and a little bit safer. Okay, so basically, we've got our Glock 43X and there's not one in the chamber right now, but we do got a mag in it and uh, we need to clear it. So we're gonna drop the mag, and I'm gonna rack the slide several times. Show empty, the gun is empty. I can, I can lock it back, do that look, put my finger in there, there's nothing in there. Temple. All right, let's drop it back. I don't like dropping the slide like that. All right, so you'll notice where I've been carrying it, it looks a little bit dull and there's a lot of dirt, especially on this side. That is a lot, a lot of pocket dirt from my shorts and work pants and stuff like it. And there's some pocket lint coming out of that. We don't want that. You don't want that in your carry gun. I recommend, you know, at least cleaning your carry gun once a month if you don't shoot it. But I've actually been shooting this thing a little bit, backyard plinking and doing some tests with it. So we need to make sure we do a good cleaning on it. So, all right, here we go. Breaks down like any other Glock. Rack your slide, pull your trigger, all right, after you pull your trigger, take down levers, pull down. Okay, actually, you gotta pull the slide back an eighth of an inch, pull your take down levers down, slide forward, and don't drop the camera, and your slide comes right off. Well, we'll just leave that in there because that shows you when you get in a hurry, you can do things. All right, but well, we got it down good enough. All right, got our polymer here. Our frame or bottom half of the pistol all right let's lay it to the side all right we got a slide right here all right let's go ahead and take that slide down so you got your recoil spring 
pull down, lift up, barrel, push, lift up just slightly, push down, lift up, pulls right out. All right, you'll notice right here there's a lot of greasy looking dirt and grime and stuff. We're going to try to get that off today as well. And uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fingers and I'm just going to dust off that excess pocket lens as much as I can out of it. I'm doing it off camera because I don't want it on my cleaning mat. And look, there's some pocket lint down in there. Let's pull some of that out and blow on it a little bit. Get some of that out of there. All right, so basically what we want to do is, is uh, we want to clean the firearm really good. I pretty much use this brush for everything, okay? So we're going to pour a little cleaner on it. I'm going to do this to the side. I've got just a little bit of cleaner on it. I'm going to work it in there very carefully. Okay. What I'm going to do is, inside this slide and all these areas, I'm going to scrub. I'm going to scrub around the rails, scrub in here. I'm basically just getting some cleaner and loosening up the big chunks right now. Okay. The fine details will be later. Okay. Get this area right here where you strike her firing pin is scrub that area real good that area needs to be nice and clean and nice and dry when we get done scrub out here scrub right here where the recoil spring goes we'll scrub right here where the barrel glows all right we'll get all of that scrubbed up good and this is just a plastic brush it's not going to hurt anything all right we got that scrubbed what we're going to do is we're going to take a paper towel we're going to clean that off just a little bit Take part of her paper towel. All right, lay it down. And then we're gonna clean out right here all of this loose stuff that we got in here. Okay. So we're at the 10 minute mark already. I mean, we're at the seven minute mark already. So I'm trying to hurry this up. But this gun is a little bit dirty and we need to clean it. So basically clean out real good all inside. All right, we're gonna let him set for just a second. I'm gonna wipe my hands off a little bit. Notice how dirty I'm getting. How much of that stuff come off on my hands. Okay, so I'm gonna take these Q-tips and I'm gonna do a lot of fine detail work with it. These Q-tips help while that cleaner's wet, really getting that stuff out of there, okay? We really want the inside of that slide good and clean, okay? All right, right there. Right there. And don't be afraid. Q-tips are cheap, guys. Get another Q-tip. Now, a lot of folks are gonna say, this is not the proper way. This is the way that works for me. As Paul from Heavy Metal and Guns and Outdoors would tell you, this way works for him. I mean, he's got a different way than I do, but I'm just saying whatever way works for him is the way he does it. There's other ways. And I welcome them. If you got any comments or suggestions, then let me know and uh, you might have something that I like better. All right, basically, we're gonna take one more Q-tip. We're gonna go around right here just a little bit around where that inside of that rail is. Get that gunk out of there. All right, that slide looks good the inside of it to me. So let's put it to the side. All right, we're gonna get a little bit more clean cleaner. I'm actually just gonna put a little bit on my finger this time. I'm gonna rub it on that brush. And do this now you might hear that this is bad but i've always cleaned these things like this and so that's how i'm gonna continue to do it i'm gonna take it i'm gonna brush all my metal parts my rails here i'm gonna brush around here around my extractor and all my parts right here my slide release right there i'm gonna go in here to where the magazine goes in i'm gonna scrub that out a little bit Okay, now basically what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this paper towel, still not all that dirty everywhere, I'm gonna wipe this out. Okay, I'm just wiping all that cleaner out. All right, 
making sure there's no big debris anywhere on anything. And I blew that thing off a little bit just to help it dry a little bit. All right, make sure there's nothing in those rails there that can impede us. There's a little bit of pocket lint right there. Let's take a Q-tip and let's work on that. All right, sometimes you'll leave a little bit of lint behind with the Q-tips that you gotta get off or the paper towels. Uh, good towels to use with any good quality paper towel. Viva towels are awesome. They're almost like shop towels. And uh, shop towels, of course, excellent, excellent. But they are expensive. They're excellent for this. All right, let's get all that lint off there. Now, also, you probably notice a little bit, I've got cats, I've got dogs. So you might notice animal hair in my guns when I'm cleaning them. That's just, it is what it is. All right, so, what we're gonna do now is, is I'm gonna put me a little bit more cleaner on this thing. I'm gonna scrub off. Might need just a little more than that. Put it on my brush, I'm gonna scrub off my recoil spring just to do it. Not gotta be perfect, and then I'm gonna wipe it down good, okay? We just don't want a bunch of grime and grit impeding this thing's function. That's the main thing, all right? Let's take and wipe it down with a paper towel really good. And that should be sufficient for him. Let's take this. All right, now, let's do our barrel, our barrel. I'm actually going to just put a little bit of this hops on my finger and I'm going to rub it. Make sure I rub all around it good. And that right there, when I go to scrub that barrel, that'll help loosen that stuff up. So let's scrub the outside of that barrel a little bit. Around in here, you want to make sure all that right there, nothing's in there. Right here. That's an important area. You don't want anything there, okay? That is where Mr. Bullet goes in at and where Mr. Bullet gets fired from. You don't want a gap between your bullet and your barrel, okay? So let's get that. All right, so we got all that good. Now we're going to take our trusty dirty paper towel again and wipe this off. And I'm actually going to put just a little bit more of this I'm gonna put a little bit more hops on the brush I'm just pouring a couple drops on it I'm doing it over here because I've got a trash can to catch all this excess okay we don't want to contaminate the earth any more than it already is all right so all right now you barrel best thing to do is your bullet goes out through it this way. So what I would do is, I would keep everything going out that way. So put your brush down through there, pull it back out slowly. You don't wanna scar up your rifling too much. Be gentle with your, with your rod. You can go back and forth and you can actually do it like that. But I found that I am so particular about my accuracy. I would rather just go in the one direction, okay? Now a revolver, you can't really do that. That's a little bit different. Okay, so we got that. So uh, we're gonna look in there and that barrel looks pretty clean right there. So I don't really see a lot of loose grime in there. Let's take this paper towel right here and wipe the access out because I've got a little lint on it. Possibly a little cat hair. All right. What we're going to do now is, like I said, we're going to use the same brush for this whole process. We're just going to clean this off good. Now, what we want to do is, we take either patches or little pieces of paper towel. Cheaper to me is little pieces of paper towel. We're going to put this little piece of paper towel in here. I'm actually going to go ahead and coat it in just a little bit of cleaner, this first one. Okay. Just make sure we got that barrel good. All right, and I'm just gonna push it through like this. You could use this attachment for your patches or your paper towels, whatever you wanna use, but I'll just use this. Cause in, in your, your Glocks come with a brush that is similar to this. 
you can use that for the whole process. The only thing is you'll have to unscrew the brush at the end if you don't wanna pull it back through because of the big ring on it. So I like using this kit. Push through. Now, let's see all that come out of there. Let's push that thing through one more time and then we'll get a clean piece. All right. All right, we're good. Put that over here with a dirty paper towel. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a pretty good clean piece and we're gonna jam that through there until it becomes clean, okay? All right, so we're gonna do that. Push it straight through. And that looks pretty clean, but there's still a little bit more. Let's do it one more time. Put a bigger piece in there this time. It'd be hard to jam it through there, so that ought to really get it. All right. So we're still getting a little bit of dirt. We're gonna go through one more time. All right. Now that barrel looks clean. I don't see a lot of grime in there. Maybe just a hair. We're gonna go through one more time with this. All right. All right now guys, that looks pretty good to me. I don't really see any grime from this angle. That barrel, I can see my rifling good. Don't see no big chunks in there. So I think that's good. What I'm gonna do now is, is I'm gonna take this brush off and we'll use the same rod. And what I'm gonna take is, I'm gonna put it on this rod here. I'm gonna put that soft brush on there. And just that way I'm not cross-contaminating a lot. All right, now I'm gonna take another piece of paper towel. All right, I'm gonna take some of my Hops number nine oil. I like an oiled barrel, guys. Don't have to be that much. And I probably got just a little bit much on it. That's fine. We'll let that soak in there good. The reason I like an oiled barrel, I like that bullet to have a little bit of lube when it's going out of there. Let's push this thing through. All right, that right there. That barrel's nice and shiny and lubed. All right, so that looks good to me. Now, we start lubing this gun up and putting it back together. Now Glock recommends, I think like four or five drops for the gun and tells you everywhere to do it. It might even tell you everywhere on this cleaning mat here. But what I typically do is, I take, I put a little bit of drop right there where that rail goes. I spread it around to this next rail. Yes, I use my finger. Put a little bit on that slide release part. A little bit on all your metal part. Let's move that. Yep, I put a drop right there. That lubes that up, okay. Go to the other side. Yep, I put a good drop there. And I'm gonna spread that out in there, okay. I'm gonna put just a little bit right there on this tractor and I'm gonna spread it out all over these parts right here, okay? I find a Glock needs to be dry to run. Now I'm gonna take the excess oil and lube up this whole area in here, okay? It's good to oil your trigger every now and then, but uh, I think it's good right now to begin with, okay? So after I do that, that part's oiled. I'm gonna do something similar here. I'm gonna put me a good liberal drop right here, okay? So that's probably about four drops. I'm gonna take my finger, I'm gonna go on the inside of the slide, and I'm gonna cover everything. Notice I'm not putting a drop back here. I don't wanna put a whole lot of oil back here where the striker is, because that has been known in the past to cause guns to malfunction. And I still got plenty of oil in there, let it hang back down. I'm gonna coat that inside good. I'm gonna put me one more drop on the rails right here. Okay. I'm gonna go back and forth. Right like that. All right. I'm actually seeing just a little bit of grime on there, on those rails. So I'm gonna take this, we're gonna take, we're gonna get that off there as best we can. 
Okay. Don't have to be perfect, but you don't want no buildup. All right, now I'm gonna take a little bit more oil now that I did that. And I can spend a lot more time on this guy, but I'm getting it to where I feel comfortable and safe to shoot it. And probably in another month or so, if I've not shot it any, I'll probably have shoot it some, but if I have not, I will take this thing back down and then I will, you know, redo it. And by that time, every piece of ground, if I hadn't shot it any, I would be out of here. All right, so that's good. I'm gonna take my barrel. I'm gonna put a drop on my barrel, okay? I'm gonna spread that around right like that, okay? Get a good coating on the barrel. Put my barrel back down in here, all right? So I'm gonna do the same thing for my slide. I mean my uh, recoil spring. That way it works good in the slide. Put that back in there. All right, so we're going down here. All right, making sure this thing is down in that little area right there, that little oval round area. And we know it's good. The slide's ready to go back on here. So we can put it back on the gun. We gotta line it up right here. My bet. Pull it back. Racket it several times. Check function. Check reset. Reset works. One more time. All right, so she's good. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna clean the outside a little bit. I typically don't use cleaner on the outside, but I want this thing to shine, okay? I don't wanna get a lot of cleaner on this plastic, on the polymer, so, but I am gonna use a little bit of cleaner on this slide because I want this thing to shine. It is pretty dirty. I'm gonna use this brush again here in just a minute. I'm gonna take my finger. I need a little more than that. All right, got me some. Oop, I lost a little bit on the mat. That's what the cleaning mat's for, so you don't get your table dirty. All right, now, I noticed there was a lot of grime right here in this area. I'm just rubbing it down on there. Okay. All right. So, try not to get my barrel there. I don't want to take all my oil off of it. All right. So. We need a little bit more to get down in that, soak down in those serrations. It's got to soak down in those serrations to get that out of there. Okay. Now, actually, I don't think I'm going to have to take my brush. I think I can take a paper towel and basically just clean that out. Okay. And that's what we're doing. We're just cleaning those serrations out good. All right, making them look good. We'll dust this thing off in a minute. Yep, there was a lot of grime getting built up in the serrations. And then that cleaner just took it right off. Okay. Now, I still notice some lint up here. So I'm going to take just a little bit of oil, a drop of oil. We'll do it over this on my Q-tip. Okay. And right here where these sights are, I want to get that lint out of there. Okay. So I'm going to rub it right there. All right. All right, I'm back, folks. Uh, so what I did was I just took that Q-tip and I got the excess lint off of those sites. Okay. Had a brief interruption. Had to pause. All right, so what I'm doing right here is now that I've got that on there, I'm going to take, clean my finger off again. I'm going to take my middle finger here. And I'm gonna oil my middle finger good, okay? Right like that. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna rub all over that slide real good. So I want this thing to shine, okay? And I'm gonna take my excess. Yeah, and it's still safe, guys. Don't worry. I know I got in front of the muzzle a little bit. All right. So I'm gonna rub this thing now, and it's looking pretty good. All right. So now that, she's shining now, okay? All right, so that's how I clean my Glock 43X, you know. A uh, couple of other recommendations was if you was gonna do some heavy rain shooting in it, 
or you hadn't cleaned it in a while and then you was gonna take it to the range. Let's bring it back to slide. All right. So right here, you wanna put a, co a couple drops of oil and rack the slide several times. You let this down, right here in this area, you'd wanna put a couple drops of oil and rack the slide good. Now to get you ready for the range. All right, appreciate y'all watching. And uh, remember, we get to 100 subscribers, I'm gonna give out a free pocket knife. This is the first in a lot of cleaning series. Everything you see me use on this channel, we'll have a cleaning video eventually. So, uh, hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned a few things, and then I hope y'all can maybe have some pointers and suggestions for me. But this works for me, and this gun will function. The lock don't need a whole lot of oil, so it looks good. All right, have a good one, guys.